back to another very special episode of Colin Vlogs here. So uh, if you've followed uh, a lot of these vlogs closely, you'll know I've been looking for some haunted places um, around Lincoln, specifically the UNL campus, and so far we haven't found anything. So we've got one place left. It's the HSS Catacombs is what it's called. It's really just an underground like tunnel thing that uh, connects all the Harper Smith Shram residence halls together to the uh, Harper Dining Center. So if you, if you look... Um, Oh, my camera won't flip around, but uh, I've got my fancy DSLR camera in here. I've got a tripod. I've got some sleeping stuff. So the general plan is I'm going to go there. Uh, I'm going to spend the night there, put the whole thing on video, and uh, if anything haunting happens, uh, we'll have the footage. So that's where we're going to be. Uh, I, brought, I brought Boris along. You can see him right there, yeah. So he's going to help me set stuff up and uh, make sure that I don't die uh, in my sleep because of any spirits. So uh, I'll see you guys down there. You guys are back down here in the catacombs. Boris is behind me there. He's working on the finishing touches on the camera setup. As you can see, I've got my bags and everything laid out. I've got a nice sleeping bag here. So uh, it's getting kind of late. I think uh, I'm going to go to bed. Boris is probably going to go back home. He's going to come back, see me in the morning, and I'll be just fine because the place isn't haunted. We've been down here. What would you say, Boris? 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes? Absolutely nothing's happened. You know, it's, it's been quiet. Uh, I guess there was one person that walked through, but I don't think she was a ghost. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, is that recording? I think it is. All right, so uh, I ended up changing locations. Um, and they don't turn off the lights over there in the hallway ever, so it was too bright. I came over here to sleep, um, so I, Boris will still find me in the morning. I'm just a little, little bit away. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna leave the camera running all night, see if anything spooky happens. So uh, see you guys in the morning. stop recording now. All right guys we're back so uh, I just finished recording I got my uh, camera and tripod all set up here um, so yeah now I'm just gonna clean up camp here and uh, oh oh that's nice that that was not there when I uh, when I woke up it's, uh, it's a little baby doll what does that sign say haunted do not touch beware stop it was a practical joke I wasn't haunted last night. This was left here by somebody walking through after breakfast. I was probably messing with my camera. I didn't notice him come in here. Stupid thing. You know what? You know what, guys? In the spirit of Halloween, I'm going to take this doll right here. I'm going to be... Oh, it's kind of creepy how its eyes just got covered. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be with it all day. The next 24 hours of my life, I'm going to record everything. I'm going to be with this doll at all times. And you know what? Nothing's going to happen. UNL's not haunted. And today, we're proving it right now all right uh, so I'm just gonna go study now I got the uh, got the haunted baby with me this is Noah playing some Call of Duty with his friends I'm just gonna I don't know if you can tell here I got my camera and everything set up or not set up yet it's it's on me we're gonna go to the study room and set that all up so oops, since I get stuck in here actually you know what baby's kind of annoying people give me weird looks I'm just gonna toss it over there on the couch I don't need it it'll be fine I'm still being haunted I'm sure I think we're good. All right, guys, so uh, I left the doll back in my room because I, I think the haunting will have rubbed off on me if it's real. So uh, 
I'm just going to be sitting here doing some homework. I got the camera set up to uh, capture any spooky activity. But uh, no, for the most part, I've just got some uh, online reading to do for international relations and some math homework to do. So I'll be doing that. And then when I'm done, we'll pack up shop here and go uh, explore the rest of campus, see how else we can be haunted. But uh, with that, I'm going to get to reading about the wonderful thing that is international political economies and their complex interconnectedness. A joyous subject, to be sure. Well, let me tell you, the international political economies is a fascinating subject that I don't care about. So, good news is we're done reading. I'm going to be doing some math, and that's going to be a lot better. So, yeah. Put this away, actually. Should be good. All right, guys, I've got some uh, laundry here. I'm just going to be tossing into the laundry machine. I'll just throw that in there. Um, I'm going to leave the camera on it um, to see if uh, anything happens to my laundry because this ghost is really out to get my clothes not clean, I guess. So, uh, there we go. I'm just going to be sitting here in this chair, uh, letting the camera do its work on the laundry machine. So, yeah. All right, 
the uh, laundry is all done, so we're gonna we're gonna open it up. See if my clothes are magically still dirty. Well, uh, all right, that's drop some socks there. Uh, as you can see, the uh, laundry here is looking pretty clean, if I do say so myself. Just look at this high quality laundry right there. So uh, no ghosts in here, I guess. All right, call that done. All right, guys, um, I stopped and set everything up here because uh, I was reviewing the footage from earlier today, and I have reason to believe that I've been haunted at some point today. Um, I was watching the footage, and I noticed something was a little off in, in, in pretty much all of the shots, actually. Um, my, my pants were sagging a little bit on the left side. Um, you see, normally I have my, my phone in this left pocket, and my wallet in my uh, notebook. It says Genius on it. It was a gift from a good friend. I put all my best ideas in it. That goes in my other pocket with my wallet, and uh, the two balance out. Uh, my wallet's usually pretty light. I'm in college and all that. Um, but the notebook itself is about the, about the same weight as my phone, so it all balances out. But uh, the only thing to make my pants sag on the left side and not the right side is if the notebook was gone. Now, I, uh, I take this notebook with me everywhere. I, I can't imagine that I would have just put it down or lost it somehow. So uh, I really think that a ghost took it from me. <laughs> um, OK, actually, this, this is kind of embarrassing now. Um, as I said that, um, as I accused a ghost that uh, doesn't exist stealing my notebook, I realized I was doing some laundry earlier. And um, I was working with the washer, you know, as water, and so my clothes were wet. And uh, I took it out of my pocket because I didn't want to risk the pages getting wet and some of the, the pencil lead getting smeared. So uh, it's, it's still sitting there in the table in the laundry room. Pretty sure of it. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to grab all this where I can pick that up and pretend I... I didn't have a three-minute breakdown where I accused a ghost of stealing my notebook. <laughs> That'd be bad. All right, All right got everything. All right, and the camera goes off. All right, guys, I uh, survived my first full day of being haunted. I'm going to go to bed here now, and then I'll wake up and see if I survive the next few hours. And then after that, we'll safely conclude it. I'm not being haunted, so uh, I'm just gonna climb into bed over here. It's kind of, kind of dark here because it's night, and me and uh, my roommate we usually sleep when it's dark. I think that's what most people do nowadays. So uh, yep, yeah, just gonna get, get a little comfy here, and uh, yeah, I think that uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys. We're back. I just woke up. Um, yeah, I wasn't haunted anyway during the night. So, if you, uh, I, uh, I think I'm just going to get ready, go face the day, see if we can't find another way to get haunted. Sounds like a blast to me. Ain't that right? All right, see you guys in a bit. Now I think I'm just going to take a shower and you can get the day started off. Stuff you wash with see that so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut the video here yeah so uh, I'm still just walking around not being haunted Actually, doing a lot of these uh, I'm just gonna get a drink here would you look at that this drinking fountains not even haunted look at this see this right here so you call a not haunted drinking fountain easy yeah so I'm like out of places to go or things to do to get haunted, so at this point, I'm just straight up wandering around the halls of the building, trying to find like ways I can be haunted. And honestly, guys, nothing's working. I mean, I just don't think the doll's haunted. Well, I will say though, there's one place in this building that gives me the creeps. It's the stairwell. It's real echoey and kind of dark. 
definitely kind of sketch. If any haunting was going to happen, it would uh, be in here for sure. So, um, all right, we're up on a new floor. I think it's pretty safe to say, guys, we're not being haunted. Not at all. It's just how it is. All right, guys, so uh, here we are. Got ready to pack everything up, and uh, I just got to see, uh, grab my camera here. We're almost, oh, I got to return all this junk to this here, yeah. So, uh, whoops, <laughs> almost dropped the stand. No, we're good. Um, if I just open the door here, and we're going to be heading out. Got to return all the camera stuff to the journalism school that I borrowed it from. I've been really great at that, just uh, let me borrow such high-quality equipment for nothing other than the fact that I go to college here, so, uh, yeah, no, it's been good. I I really don't think that I was haunted in any way, so I'm just going to press the elevator button here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to return it all. I guess I proved that there's no ghosts here at all, so, really, it's been a good weekend. Yeah, so, uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.